the river of thousand faces with over one thousand one hundred tributaries and running a fifth of the world's fresh water it's the amazon river in this video we will see that the amazon river's water flow not only carries water but it also carries blood of the men and women who inhabit the planet Amazon is the greatest river in South America. The Amazon River drains about 2,722,000 square miles, which is one-third of the South America. It is the world's largest drainage basin. It is also the second longest river in the world. Its distance is almost equal to that of New York City to Berlin. The Amazon River is also famous for its rainforests. It is important to our planet because trees in Amazon are absorbing tons of CO2s. Amazon is therefore referred to the lungs of the earth. The source of the Amazon River starts from the Andes mountain. It comes down from hundreds of rivers, but most of them go to the Amazon River. Amazon is a river full of life that goes through Andes to the Atlantic. This river goes through Venezuela, Equator, Colombia, Bolivia, and Brazil. There are more than a thousand tributaries including Japura, Jurua, Madeira, Negro, Perus, Tocantes, and Zingu. However, in the past, the course was totally different. How has the Amazon River changed? About 50 million years ago before Andes Mountains were formed, the Amazon River was flowing into the warm waters of the Pacific Ocean and Caribbean Sea. Toward the end of the Cretaceous, the growing Andes became large enough to send the Amazon's river tumbling back toward the Perth Arc. The Amazon River changed its course due to the growth of the Andes Mountains. <laughs> This Amazon not only carries water, but it also carries lives of animals, plants, and people. Centuries ago, many indigenous people who were Indians lived in the Amazon. Most lived along rivers because it made transportation easy. Later, those indigenous people died by disease European explorers and colonists brought. Some of the others died because they were enslaved. Now they are approximately 400 to 500 tribes in the Amazon River, and the large tribes are Yanomami and Zhu. These tribes are very different from the people living in Rio de Janeiro, mainly because they are isolated from people. What animals and plants are living in the Amazon? The Amazon rainforest provides a habitat for surprising creatures, such as the poison dart frog and the Jesus lizard. The most terrifying animals are black caiman, green anaconda, arafina, giant otter, and red-bellied piranhas, payara, and paku. Anacondas lurk in the swallow waters of the Amazon basin. They are one of the world's largest snakes and obsessively attack larger animals such as goats, when they get close to the water. They are a lot of weird creatures in the Amazon River, such as the world's largest freshwater fish, Arafina. It is two or more meters long. More than 8,000 species of insects have been identified. About 1,500 fish species have been found within the Amazon system. But there are more of them identified. These animals and insects live together. There are no bridges in the Amazon River, and this is not because the river was too wide to bridges, it was due to the Amazon rainforest. There are very few roads and cities near the Amazon River, and most of the time the crossing can be done by a ferry, so there is no need to build a bridge. How do people use the Amazon River? People use the Amazon River for water, food, travel, and scientific discovery. Many tribes who live near the river use the river as a source of food through fishing. Alligators are hunted for both their meat and their skin, along with turtles, manatees, and other water animals. The Amazon River is also important for transporting goods. People also use the Amazon River for scientific discovery. 
According to the Guardian World News, scientists discovered a freshwater dolphin species called the Araguaya dolphin in one of the tributaries of the Amazon River. The electric knifefish is also a new species found in the Amazon River. With Amazon reaching protected areas programs supports by July 2006, a total of 38,800 square kilometers of new protected areas have been created in the Amazon. The Central Amazon Conversation Complex also makes up a new largest protected area in the Amazon Basin, over 6,000 hectares, and this is assisted by UNESCO. However, the world's largest river system is being rapidly damaged by dams, mining, overfishing, and deforestation. In the last few years, scientists have been very worried about the deforestation in the Amazon River. This has caused a significant drop in the average annual rainfall. The drop of that rainfall also affected the Amazon River by drying the river banks and killing a lot of aquatic animals and plants. Currently, the carbon dioxide is gradually increasing and the global warming will accelerate. The lungs of our planet should be preserved well to keep our planet healthy. To save the Amazon River, we have to encourage people in the Brazilian Amazon for the protection of their land and water into the future. We also have to encourage farmers to follow the Brazilian forest code and protect forests. The people should reduce ammunition for deforestation and degradation. We should start conserving the nature's because it doesn't only affect us, but it also affects the animals. It is also the home for most amount of the animal species. That's why we need to stop cutting too many of the rainforest trees. In our documentary, we searched how this river affected the people around it. Firstly, we interviewed a farmer who works near the Amazon River. Amazon River helps me a lot because I get all the water I need from the Amazon River and without it, I want to be able to farm. Second, we interviewed a fisherman. We depend a lot on the Amazon River. It is a water full of life. The Amazon River gives us fish to survive, and we usually make the money out of those fish. I am very thankful for this river. Hi, I am a scientist working in the Amazon River. As you can see, there are a lot of species in the Amazon River, and yet some still aren't found. There are a lot of new species found in the Amazon River, and scientists are trying to discover the new species. Also, we are trying to figure out a way to preserve the Amazon well, and to stop the pollution and deforestation of Amazon River. Amazon is a vital life support for Brazil, and without it, there will be no life in South America. Many people agree that Amazon River is significant to our rivers and should be preserved well. Amazon is harmonious, organized, and beautiful. Passar um